What would a business world with too much information look like? For me, we already live in that world. We have so much access to so much information. The cost of accessing that information is so low that in fact, we are basically awash with far more information than we can possibly use. If you think about it, that creates opportunities, but it creates enormous challenges. One of them is what we might call analysis paralysis. This sort of feeling that we need to continue to, to gather more and more information because there's so much available that we never actually do anything with it. And quite clearly, if that is the problem, then the solution, if you're trying to be a little bit more decisive or actually get things done, you've got to become much smarter at knowing when to stop gathering information and when to start acting on it. The Nobel laureate Herbert Simon, in fact, came up with this insight 50 odd years ago. He said, you know, in a world where there is a surplus of information, the scarce resource is our own attention, our own capacity to attend to the right information. What does that mean? It involves scanning the environment, making sense of trends, it involves employing smart people to help you to interpret all that, and indeed using computers, automation, to do the various bits of number crunching that often goes under the sort of the heading big data. But that is necessary and not sufficient. If we want to be successful as an organization, we need to do all of that stuff. And in addition, we've got to then start figuring out the right ways of applying our judgment so that we can bring, if you like, the human touch to all this codified information. Because of course the risk is that if we're all codifying and processing data in the same way, we're all coming to the same answers. Competitive advantage coming from doing things differently to our competitors. So human judgment paradoxically becomes actually more important in an era of big data and automation than it does when we were doing everything by hand. I'm actually more interested in those companies that have figured out the way of getting the right blend between analyzing information and making smart decisions on the basis of it. I think Amazon actually is, is, is such a case because Amazon is a company that does use very careful, detailed number crunching analysis to make certain types of decisions, but it's not afraid of making big, bold bets on creating the Kindle, creating its web services business, moving into film production. All of these are big, bold steps that the data does not even begin to support. And for me, the marrying of you know, big, bold decisions with harnessing of data is the, the right way forward.